Hey Alpha fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today I just wanted to go over the total market cap of crypto, right? So when we're what we're looking at on the screen right here is just all the money that's in crypto. And you can see it started uh, pretty low, around the $3 billion. And then, uh, of course, it's now become a whopping $1.89 trillion, which is just huge, right? This has been an exponential explosion. I can turn log scale off and you can see started from nothing and just boom, right? Just crazy, crazy growth. So in the future, do you think uh, we can see like another couple booms like that? Yeah, of course, because uh, so few people in the world are using crypto right now that as soon as this takes off, of course, we're gonna have another, you know, slump period and we're gonna have another growth period. It's just, just the way that the market works. And uh, to understand that, uh, usually I just like to put on the uh, EMAs and these EMAs are kind of like, uh, you know, the way that I think about it is like these 200 EMAs, this uh, orange uh, is the EMA, and then the white one is the 200 MA, which is, just means moving average, right? It's just the average of the price action over like 200 units of time. Right now we're on the five day. And so what we see is that it's kind of like throwing a baseball in the air, right? Well, you can use money as kind of like your fuel, your energy to throw that baseball as far into the air as you'd like, but eventually the Earth is going to, you know, the Earth's gravity is just going to pull you back. And then if you went too high, you're probably going to make a dent in the Earth, you know, when you come back. So we can see it here, and then we can see it here. And oh, we're kind of high right now, right? Uh, the powers that be did give us rounded tops as opposed to a blow off top. So that does help. That does help keep us kind of like this because. We didn't get thrown so high that, uh, you know, we're going to come smashing down. Hopefully we don't. Uh, other things in the news might cause that to happen. But you could imagine uh, two scenarios right now. One being that, uh, you know, we could just come, you know, all the way back down like this, touch those 200s, and then continue on our way, right? That's one scenario. The other scenario is that we just make another wave for a few months, right? Kind of just make waves. And these these 200 EMAs catch up with us. Right? So the way that gravity works is that, you know, two objects pull on each other. It's not necessarily that only one object is pulling you down, but you're also pulling something else towards you. It's it's just it's the same way with price action. Time is the same thing as a deep correction, okay? So if you give yourself enough time, then, the, then the, the average, because it's an average of price, they come together, right? Because it finds the average of this area. Alternatively, you can have a big correction. Let's say that there's a bad economy, you have a big correction, and then you can blast off to outer space again if you want, okay? So uh, there's no preference on this. Uh, it can happen both ways. You can see uh, in the past, we've had these areas of stability, right? And then we've had areas where we just come crashing down. Well, what do we want to look at right now? We want to see just uh, what's the state of the market. And the state of the market right now is kind of, kind of breaking out, kind of breaking out, right? Not really, but kind of breaking out. Getting just this hint just this hint that things may be changing for the positive. It's not super strong. Anything could uh, derail this. And you can see it's just, just hanging on for dear life. But the good thing is we got above this trend line down and we're making a noble effort. In fact, you can see we almost perfectly came down to retest that breakout. And then we started to move up again, All right? So that's what's been happening today. If you're wondering what's been happening today, why have we been kind of dipping? Well, we're just testing this breakout, right? And ideally, ideally what we'd like to see is something like this, okay? Where we have this, and then we have this, and then we have something like this, where it doesn't break back down. And then I can draw this type of uh, shoulder on it.
and this is the length of the head, and then this would be the length of the measured move up. And we could talk about some type of explosive growth in the market, right? So pumping up to almost, you know, two and a third or two and a half trillion dollars over time. It will take time. It's not just straight vertical. It'll take months, right? It could take a year. But uh, that you could see that it might be possible to get to those to those levels, right? And in the grand scheme of things, that's not too big of a deal. It's not too much to ask for. We kind of did it here, right? We had this huge pump right here when we broke this downtrend. And it didn't mean that we got out of a downtrend permanently. It just meant that we had a pump, OK? So keep your expectations measured, because we could still have this type of correction where we have this kind of blow off top. And this one may be just hidden, OK? Something like that. And then we may see price action getting around here. So money might be fleeing the market right now. Just because we have a pump doesn't mean that we're out of the woods. We've had these type of pumps on these type of formations before. And so you're going to want to be very conservative with your money. Until we until we're sure that we've broken this triangle formation, you know, if we've broken out of this uh, triangle formation, and we start, you know, getting higher highs on this uh, overall money in the market, then you know something else is going on, right? This like this formation isn't going on. Something else is going on. Adoption is taking place. Russia's adopting it. You know, countries that trade with Russia might be adopting it. Something like that that keeps us keeps us bullish and just has our EMAs, you know, just coming up to meet us rather than us crashing down into them. Uh, I didn't really want to go over too much in this one, but I will just point out just uh, briefly that there are other totals that you can look at. This is uh, excluding Bitcoin. And if you exclude Bitcoin, there's something very interesting going on. We never broke downtrend. So you're going to want to pay attention to this one because this suggests that Bitcoin is either leading the way or it's just the breakout is just the Russian oligarchs like putting their money into Bitcoin and maybe they don't care about altcoins. Right? Maybe they don't maybe they don't care about altcoins at all. And we can go to the total 3 which excludes Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. And sorry, I've already got some things marked up on here. But you can see we've broken down from this wedge. We have this kind of channel, just hypothesis. I'm not super strict on this one. We have this kind of channel. And then we have this kind of wedge that was being formed using this point. Right? One, two, three, kind of four, five. And then we broke down. Alternatively, you can think of it as maybe something like this. In which case, we did touch this bottom, but not as much as we touch, you know, broke through it, you know, previously. But you could say we did tag it. And maybe we're going to just uh you know, that could be a blow off top, just exuberance there. Maybe we're just going to gently tag it and continue on our way like this, right? So maybe after Bitcoin is done uh, blasting off, then the alts will have their chance to have a breakout. However, if Bitcoin fails, just remember that we are also in a wedge that's breaking. And uh, uh, if this wedge continues to break down, you could see serious damage to the market and altcoins could, uh, you know, they could drop to hell. And that could happen with global regulation. Anything could cause that to happen. So we're, the point is we're in a downtrend right now still with these uh, altcoins. We haven't broken up above it for the altcoin market in general. 
And so you still have good entries on altcoins. Yeah, they've pumped a little, but uh, you know, if this really is going to be a, a run, a bull run, and if Bitcoin is leading the way, because here's the total, including Bitcoin, right? It's breaking out. Right? It's breaking out of its downtrend. If Bitcoin is leading the way and starts to shoot up, then you can almost be guaranteed that the altcoins are going to have their time next, right? That the altcoins are going to be able to shoot up following it. They're going to just follow along with the investment. But we don't know if this is just a temporary thing based upon... And by the way, the total two is uh, excluding Bitcoin, so it includes Ethereum, right? The total three excludes Ethereum and ex excludes Bitcoin. But you can see the total two and the total three look almost identical right now. So basically, Ethereum is in the same basket as the other alts, which means that all that money that came into Bitcoin, it was just for Bitcoin. They weren't putting it anywhere else, right? Yeah, the rest of the market might be like... Uh, getting a little bit of FOMO, but the money primarily came into Bitcoin, right? This little, this little sliver right here, this little sliver of hope on a breakout. This is our hope. These are, these are all of our hopes and dreams in this market. And it's so tiny and it's so fragile and it's primarily Bitcoin only, okay? Nothing else has really followed along yet. Yeah, you have a couple leaders like uh, Luna, you know, a couple, couple good coins really doing something, right? That's why you want to be in good coins. I've been following this one, Keep. Keep has just been exploding. But uh, not sure how it's going to behave. Luna doing great things. Not sure if it's going to pull one of these dips, though, if we do have a market crash. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this was sufficient, right? Maybe this is the equivalent of this type of dip, and then this was the equivalent of this type of dip. So maybe this isn't going to happen. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. So, of course, uh, some of these good projects are blasting off along with Bitcoin, but in general, the market is still pretty suppressed. Pretty suppressed. And you can see that in coins like Blocktopia, another one I've been charting. Still pretty far down there, right? Still pretty far down there. Just barely breaking its downtrend. It's just got that glimmer of hope being led by Bitcoin. And uh, the alts really haven't broken out yet. So just wanted to uh, sh introduce you to the, uh, you know, the total market cap and just see how it's interesting that while Bitcoin has broken out, all right, the rest of the market has not. It really has not. Turn off log, you know. Even using regular not log scale, you can see we haven't broken out yet. So I'll be really looking forward to when this starts breaking out because that's going to show us some type of uh, possibility for a relief rally, some type of possibility for a change in this market but until that happens we're still basically in this down uh, down channel where the market overall is going down it's just that like we didn't do anything different we didn't do anything interesting in the last couple weeks here all right yeah a bunch of your altcoins popped off but we didn't do anything interesting we just went to the top of the channel went to the bottom of the channel went to the top of the channel Went to the bottom of the channel. Went to the top of the channel. Went to the bottom of the channel. Went to the top of the channel. Uh-oh, we're at the top of the channel. What's going to happen next? Go to the bottom of the channel. Or we retest the top of the channel. Break out. Retest the top of the channel as we break out. And then either go bullish or go bearish. Sometimes it breaks out and then it goes bearish. You can't really count on anything. But the good thing about breaking downtrend is that it means that the, the rate of descent is slowing. And if the rate of descent is slowing, then maybe we can recover. 
and it might be a fast recovery or it might be a slow recovery. But the whole point is that this super fast fall starts to slow down because we're out of that downtrend. Maybe we create a new downtrend, but it's slightly less intense than the previous one, right? So what we want to see is either the price action just slowing and flattening, or we want to see this thing kind of busting out. Or at the minimum, we want to see, you know, it, it making some type of moderate position here, right? So those are pretty sloppy drawings, but uh, you get the uh, you get the picture. Still in this downtrend. Pay attention to the total market cap. That was your alpha for the day. Stay safe, guys, and happy trading.